Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all getting on very well. So today we are going to be talking about magical self-care and I am going to be showing you a few uh, spells that I have been doing that I've done a couple of times that incorporate self-care um, while also incorporating magic and um, using it as a spell, as a magical practice as well. And they kind of go hand in hand sometimes, but I thought today it'd be nice to kind of show you guys some, some things that I've been doing that kind of incorporate the both of them. So to me, self-care is not about just typically, you know, the face masks, the making sure that you, um, have time to do a face mask every Friday or have time to buy yourself new clothes. To me, self-care is truly about doing things that really align with the way that you would like to live your life and your higher self. Maybe not be so easy um, and so pleasant at times but more necessary and beneficial to making your life more positive. Um, and sometimes it's not that pleasant and sometimes it's not that nice. Uh, sometimes it takes commitment and they take commitment to different things that you probably can't be bothered to do sometimes and I think that's what makes it kind of all the more special because it kind of helps you enjoy those things too. Saying that, these um, spells are like the both sides of the self-care. They are incorporating some classic, more, more classic self-care mixed with um, some magical elements while also some healing self-care, some cleansing self-care, uh, things like that. Um, these are all things that I feel like have been spells like oriented around like self-benefit, self-growth, um, pick-me-ups as well, uh, re relaxation and just calming the mind as well so it's kind of got a uh, a bit of everything really it's kind of tried to make it a bit more diverse so I hope that sounds good to you guys the first uh, form of magical self-care that we've got today is a healing visualization meditation so this meditation I've been doing for a little bit when I feel like I need to heal something in my mind and I do a lot of different types of healing and forgiveness spells and stuff like that. Meditation is something that kind of allows me to look inside myself um, and also allow to let things go and act with a calm mind and I think sometimes if I'm feeling a bit chaotic all over the place um, this healing meditation really really helps me to kind of work through some things. Even if it's just like a starter, healing um, can be a very hard process, especially if it requires to uh, let something go, kind of like where this meditation guides you. Um, so I'd recommend starting sitting somewhere that you feel extremely safe, like the one place that you feel safe in the world, whether it be outside. I start by lighting an incense of some kind, uh, great ones for healing and uh, healing through something is amber and bay. Then put on some meditation music or I personally like sea sound effects for this specific one but if something that I would recommend as well as this is obviously like kind of hard to follow just by remembering is you can also record yourself like taking you through this meditation that might be a cool thing to do. If you are having silence for the parts that you would like to um, meditate for and kind of just like sit in that meditation. Uh, just remember that the sounds around you, just remember to kind of let them pass, not get too caught up in them. So I start by sitting and kind of getting myself in a meditative state by um, focusing on my breath, you know, getting inside the body. If you haven't meditated before, I recommend you definitely practice before you start kind of trying to do visualising during meditation and stuff as it can be quite hard to get hold of at the start. Um, and start by visualising an orange light. So a warm, healing colour that kind of has some like white maybe in the middle and some orange around the outside. And picture it far away and then let it kind of come towards you. Let it 
get closer and closer until it consumes you and then kind of just like give yourself to it like lay in the light and feel its warmth and as you do kind of picture yourself moving through it and moving through and visualize yourself sitting next to or coming to a calm and serene lake area so you're looking out onto the lake and it's warm and it's quiet and it's peaceful and you can take a seat at this lake um, but whatever you do just sit there or be there and visualize what you need to heal so maybe it's yourself maybe it's your inner child maybe you want to meet your inner child here maybe it's something or someone just allow yourself or allow this kind of feeling to manifest manifest this energy and let it approach you maybe it will sit next to you or just be with you uh, you can have a guided focused conversation with this person in your head or you can just allow the feelings to flow or if you'd like to kind of stick to the heavy meditating part of this and just try to focus on that sort of energy and not get too caught up in your head. Just focus on being there and being present in the moment and allow your breath to guide you to stay there. And I like to kind of visualise that when I'm breathing, to feel like I'm breathing with what I need to heal and with every breath, like I'm, I'm breathing in what I need to heal and then I breathe out and let that go. So if you are struggling to visualise something, you can just uh, focus on doing that as well. That's pretty simple and good as well. Just, you know, visualising, breathing in all the things that you need to heal, all those emotions, all those feelings, um, and then just as you breathe out, just kind of letting them go and, and finding your peace with it, finding your forgiveness, finding your um, end to your struggles and you might even find some answers of how you can possibly move on with it. So when you feel like you're finished um, just visualise yourself kind of with that bright orange light again. Um, picture yourself kind of letting it come closer to you again and consuming you once again and then sit and just reconnect with your senses and slowly come out of your meditation. Um, and this meditation always kind of helps me be able to at least feel like I'm on the path of of healing from something or I'm allowing um, any like emotions that are coming from anxiety or anything like that to just be let go so I can focus on like my pure emotions with the situation or whatever I need to heal from or anything like that and just allows me to kind of see things more as they are. So the next uh, spell that I've got to show you guys today is a cleansing, uh, while also kind of setting a new tone for your environment. And this is kind of a classic cleansing, burning of a herb uh, spell, but a take on it which includes you not having to use an indigenous herb or anything like that. And basically what we're trying to do with this spell is cleanse your area while also setting a new tone um, and a feeling that you would like for your area and setting some like good energy into your area um, for the place to be, for the place that you work and, and create and everything like that. So firstly what you will need is whole herbs that are dried. So what I'm using is parsley which is great for rebirth, healing and purification, mint which is great for healing, renewal and courage, Lemon balm is the main one in this and that is great for calming and purification and rosemary too which is great for protection. You will also need a paper and a pen and a string and also a light. So I get the whole herbs that I have taken and I lay them out and I kind of organise them accordingly in a good order so they're all kind of getting burnt at the same time. And then what I do is I take a word or a mantra that I would like. So. Mine specifically is present and that is my mantra for the year um, because I uh, really feel like it's something that I would like to focus on this year and something that I really need to project my energy into so that's mine for the year. And this can be anything you want, it can be calm, it can be presence, it can be um, positivity, it can be joy, it could be passion, whatever you kind of would like to put forward in your environment. Um, so write that on a little bit of paper, I'd recommend a smaller piece of paper than a larger one. Pile all your herbs together as you kind of see necessary. Take the piece of paper and slot it into the 
little string area wherever you can kind of nearer the bottom. Um, I also got a crystal that I just tucked in there too which is just a slate of amethyst that um, I kind of felt like is well it's great for calming and stuff so I kind of felt like I would like to just add that to the mix so feel free to do that. And then I just went to the place that I would like to cleanse and to place like this inner calm on, this presence in. And I picked my room for this one. And then I just light my herbs and burn them. And then I just basically repeat the mantra over and over again, um, just to kind of set that tone for that room. Um, and then repeat this anytime you feel the energy is getting a little heavy around you or isn't exactly how you wish. So you can do it before you meditate or just, just any time really that you kind of feel like it's necessary. I feel like this is a nice, easy one. It's also great for just clearing your mind um, and keeping the area cleansed so that you can think accordingly and um, not kind of get caught up in your head all the time. So the next spell that I've got to show you guys today, I call my Calm Mind Muffins. These are a great kind of treat to give yourself. Again, I think a part of self-care that's really, really important is allowing yourself to nourish your body. And if you can do that with something healthy, like making a healthy alternative to like a sweet treat or something, I feel like that's absolutely great, especially if it's got um, magical properties and also like antioxidants and fruit and stuff in it. I also think these are great things to give to other people if they are in need of kind of just like a bit of calm or something. It's nice to give yourself a treat when you have a quiet moment. I don't really think you should use them as kind of like a way to just like calm your mind when you're stressed out and just like eat a bunch of them but I think it's definitely when you want a second to kind of calm your mind a little bit, have a cup of tea and sit down and um, you know have have a bit of calm time. So now for the recipe, I will be putting this down below and full because this is just not a good recipe to follow visually because I, I really, really um, messed up quite a few times in this and added some things that didn't really go as well as I did it the first time. So I'll put my like official recipe that I've used down below, but I'll kind of go through it to you as we go through with the more like official recipe. So firstly, I take a blue candle, which represents um, calm and quiet, you know, kind of setting the tone for the spell that we're going to be doing today with these calm mind muffins. So firstly I take some flour, 240 grams to be exact, um, and I just sieve that into a bowl, it's self-raising. Again this will all be down below so don't worry if I miss anything out. And then I'm adding some sugar, make sure you get vegan sugar as these are vegan muffins. Um, I take some cinnamon, I took two teaspoons here but I recommend only one, I used one the first time and it was it was better. And then I've also got some baking powder and I just add two little teaspoons of baking powder too. And then I'm just cutting up some fruit and I wouldn't recommend putting two types of fruit in here, I did this this time, but I would recommend just having like a nice whole fruit that's kind of seasonal. I re recommend like apricot or peaches or something like that currently and just cut them up into really really small squares, but don't put them in yet leave that until like the last moment when you've mixed everything else. And then what I'm doing is I take some olive oil, so I take a quarter cup of olive oil or so, and I take a little pinch of salt as well and also some almond milk, 250 milliliters of almond milk too. And then I usually would take my, my kitchen witch wand, which is the spoon that I have, and when you are stirring the ingredients, say the words, allow my path to only attract those what serve my highest form. Clear my path and allow me to gain balance within. Guide me to my highest desires from now until I am no longer. So mote it be. And when you are making these muffins, just be sure that you are like keeping calm and collected. Do it as a, a task that is to calm you, you know, really focus your energy on it. Don't be stressing about it. Don't be doing it as like a last minute thing. Take it as a practice to calm your mind in itself and, and really put the calm in there and, and keep that intention close to you like you would with any other spell. After this, um, I just put them into some muffin cases. I made the mistake of using loose muffin cases and not putting it in my 
like cupcake um, holder thing. So, but I did do the good job of using some of my reusable ones, which is what I was supposed to use originally, but I don't know where they've gone either. But I had four that I found of my reusable cupcake cases that um, worked a lot better. So make sure you are putting in like a firm tin and not doing what I did basically. Um, and I'm just loading them up about three quarters of the way full. Also repeat these words when you place the cakes in the oven too. I'm just making a little coffee here, um, just in the time being to have with one of my cupcakes. So you guys could just see a little bit of footage of me. And then one of the cakes are out of the oven. I just dust them with some icing sugar and before I blow the candle out, I say those same words again. So just say those words again and then blow your candle out. Um, I would actually recommend like putting some um, more like granulated sugar on top of the cakes before they go in, but I will include that in the recipe down below because I forgot to do that too. It's all cool, they tasted pretty good. You can just eat these over the next few days and you can just eat them when you need like a pick-me-up or some calm over the next few days or bake them for a friend and share them with a friend that might be having like a stressful time or something at the minute. So the last self-care magic that I've got to share with you guys today is a bath ritual and this is what I call a higher self bath ritual and basically the intention of this spell is to set ourselves three goals in order to reach our higher selves or three goals that we feel like that align with our higher self. For this bath ritual, start off by running yourself a bath. I would recommend doing this in the evenings. I just feel like all of my like best breakthroughs for the last few months have happened like in the evening, low lighting in the bath. And I don't know what it is, but it's it's really quite incredible. I, just, I think it's just like being with like yourself, just purely yourself. I start off by just making myself like a cup of tea, getting the bath running, a, like a nice relaxing tea. It's always good to have a beverage to sip on. And then I'm taking firstly some river water or some charged water, it could be moon water. Just make sure that it is cleansed and charged um, and natural if you possibly can. I feel like that would be the best way. You know, you can collect rainwater. Um, and then charge under the moon or just whatever you kind of like to do to cleanse and charge your water And then we are going to be taking some chamomile um, And this is for relaxation and then we are going to be taking some roses as well I've got a couple of little ones. I decided to save the other two for a different spell. This is for self-love and then we are taking two candles so we are taking one pink and one green and these candles are for joy, prosperity and self-love. And then you also need a journal of some kind so it could be your book of shadows or a manifestation journal or just a journal that you have depending on who you are and whether you're a wicked or a witch or whether you just are interested in this sort of thing. And then get in the bath and kind of take your time. Don't don't pressure yourself with this. This is supposed to be like a healing place, you know, don't don't stress out about this. Spend some time thinking about what you would like to manifest. Spend some time kind of feeling what goals maybe could lead you to serving yourself. Some really big goals that you feel like could really benefit this higher self that you kind of picture yourself as, is this the ideal version of yourself that you kind of imagine. Not, not somebody that isn't you, not somebody that's changed loads, but you at your best form, you at your happiest, you at your purest, you know, three things that you feel like would either help you align with them, or if you feel like you were reaching your higher self, three things that you feel like you would like to kind of do to push you into your next form, um, or, or where you would like to be in your higher self. So it's kind of dependent on what you feel is right for your specific time currently. And what I would like you to do is in your journal to firstly write a goal for a month's time. And when you're manifesting, it's really important for you to, for example, when I was writing my manifestations for a month, I was writing, by the end of the month, I will know my next step in life. So you are kind of like owning it. You are kind of like saying that it's it's already yours, you will know, you know? And then I 
write and then after that write down why you feel like this will serve your higher self and why you feel like you would want this and then write how you feel like you can get there and then do the same for a goal um from a year from now as well and then the same for three years write what you where you'd like to be in three years whether it be an energy whether it be how you feel what you see yourself with so you you need to like believe that you need to believe that energy and it needs to align with your highest form not something that's like a i don't know do something that's kind of doesn't really serve your soul purpose and promotes fear or anything like that or is from a place of fear something that will really really serve you know your highest vibration and then after you have finished writing these three goals write down and then say out loud i am the embodiment of my higher self my wishes are achievable and I'm able to reach anything my heart desires. So after you've said them out loud, I basically take some time and just lay back and visualize these goals. And it was amazing when I did this because I had these like crazy visuals and just kind of had these like incredible kind of flows of um, the beauty and also the spontaneity of life and also not being 100% sure on what's going to happen but just like that energy that's carrying with me and those things I would like to do um, and put forward. So after you've laid back and visualized these goals, just let out the bath, get out the bath and um, keep that close to you. That's a very, very powerful manifestation. So that is all my self-care magic to share with you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video, hopefully later on this week, because I missed last week, I'm sorry about that, but I will be back very, very soon. I love you all so much, and see you later. Bye!